for watch. Don't forget to put the title again. Uh, just this is a shorter film up uh, breakdown. Just kind of looking at Steph Curry and Kevin Durant use, utilizing that float dribble, so we can kind of put the two and two together. Uh, if you haven't watched the last film breakdown, I encourage you to do that. But we can go ahead and jump right into this one. As you guys see, we only have 49 seconds clips. Here, uh, you guys are going to see a lot of between the legs floats here, but the footwork is still really the same. I just thought that it'd be a lot easier to go with a crossover. So you can see he floats between the legs, left, right, and then he bursts after that, all right? That change of pace aspect is really important. So if we go back here, and I won't pause all the clips, that quick one, two, and he gets downhill and finishes. Again, on this clip, float, gets left, right, and we go back again, kind of watch his feet. That back foot hits first, left or right, so he can either sell the drive or get downhill. Now you can also see he's outside the defender's hips, or he has that angle, so he blows by and is able to get to the rim and turn the corner. Another one, again, this is a behind the back float, uh, and he actually goes into a change, and he does two of them. So if you guys can see, we have two footworks here behind the back float, but still that back foot, right foot, and that downhill stance. And then he goes between, like we've been working on, or that change of direction aspect. And then he flexes, he floats again. You can really see here how he's really pushing off this back leg. You see how his toes are flexed. And he drives downhill and is able to explode and get to the rim. Next we have Kevin Durant here. Same thing if we kind of just go back here real quickly. Between the legs, float dribble, left, right, and he explodes off that burst. That change of speed going from medium to fast is really important. Now we can see the float to a change. I believe we only have two clips of this. Float. Now you can see he landed not quite as good of a stance left to right, but he's still going to cross up with his right foot like we've been working on. So we've been going to that pull-up jump shot. Obviously, you can get downhill on this if you guys see, but that cross up with that same hand, same foot is really important. Another one here, float into a quick between the legs. I think that's really good. We go back again, that float left to right, and then he, he doesn't do a good of jo as good of a job as selling downhill, but you guys can see if you look at the defender's feet, He's attacking that top foot right here. Gets Bam out of bio to open up his hips. And he's able to get downhill. And obviously Kevin Durant's a terrific shot maker. So thank you guys all for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys watch this. Then you guys are doing your skill workouts as well to go along with it. Um, that, that, doing that two to three times a week will really help elevate you outside of just the two workouts a week that we do in the Skills Academy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out.